I, I think truth is revealed in Jesus Christ. I think when we try to start our ethics, this is Bonhoeffer, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He says, we start out trying to know the difference between good and evil, like I already know this, or it's based on my conscience or something. It's always going to be so biased by my various interests, but my, my history, all kinds of things have shaped me. And it can lead to, to racism, nationalism, militarism, uh, greed, all kinds of different stuff. So I find, I, I study historically which people have come through, like Bart and Bonhoeffer and Trochme came through during the Third Reich and Hitler, like Martin Luther King and Clarence Jordan came through during the Civil Rights Movement, like Dorothy Day and, and Muriel Lester come through in relation to greed and so forth. And what I find is Bonhoeffer's right. Those people who've got this thick concept of Jesus and Jesus' way, they come through. And all those folks I just mentioned have written about, you know, the Sermon on the Mount, the way of Jesus with concrete exegesis. It really seems to have made a difference for them. So I think truth comes in Jesus Christ. Truth, uh, I argue, is uh, it, most people talk about eternal truths. And I'm wary of that. We don't know what would be an eternal truth because we're not God. Only God can know what is eternal truth because only God occupies eternity. And sometimes we use that expression, eternal truths, just to represent our truth that we don't want anybody to tamper with. Uh, I'd rather talk about permanent or relatively unchanging truths. But at the same time, if truth is the conformity of uh, the mind to reality, and that's one classic definition of truth, then if reality finds itself changing, then truth changes. At the same time, uh, if reality is socially organized, then truth should be somehow a communitarian possession. It should be something that people learn by sharing their version of the truth with one another. So I, it, to sum it up very briefly, I think truth is processive. It does continue to move on. True, new truths develop and have to be integrated with old truths. And even existing truths, because of uh, the evolutionary context in which we live, will undergo a, something of a change over time. Human nature isn't entirely what it used to be uh, uh, several thousand years ago because we're no longer living in caves and hunting and, and fishing just to survive. Uh, at the same time, there are enduring truths, permanent truths, if not eternal truths, that we human beings from time immemorial have tended to live by. But we get a better sense of what those eternal truths are if we're willing to share our truth with somebody else's truth and in that way grow in a knowledge of the truth which neither of us possesses in its entirety but all of us have some perspective on. Uh, truth, first of all, is a word that's very unfashionable. Uh, people's first reaction when they hear the word truth is that uh, you're speaking as about absolute truth, a truth for all times and all places, uh, a truth that's uh, eternal and unchanging, uh, a, a truth that can squelch some people and uh, elevate other people. Uh, I, it seems to me the day is past for that kind of truth. So that in some sense, truth will need to be relative uh, to your circumstance. So that if, uh, if something that is, a statement that's true is trying to coordinate um, a, a belief with a reality to which that belief refers. Uh, sometimes the reality will be a local reality, what you'd call a context, so that the truth is relative to that context. However, I think that answer is too simple because uh, Hitler had his context also. And am I to be such a relativist that I say his truth is as valid as mine? And I'm not. I can't, I can't live with that answer. So in some sense, it seems to me there, there need to be ways of arguing among truths. These may not be knockdown arguments that will settle things uh, decisively. Uh, but it seems to me we are called upon to defend what we think is true uh, as opposed to what other th people think is true. And it's too easy to say that truth is plural, truth is relative, all truths are equal. Uh, because we can't live that way. Uh, first of all, you can't live with someone who denies the very idea of truth. 
uh, if you really believe in truth. So it's, it has those, those, those various aspects. It seems to me that it can't be absolute. It is relative. It is plural. Pl truths are plural. But in some sense, you have to meet, be able to differentiate among truths and elevate some over others, and that's hard.